Good day, everyone. Today, we are down to the last lesson in Module 4, which is Speech Acts. To achieve effective communication, it is essential for us to know what is a speech act and the different types of it. So this lesson will help us to understand the important role of speech act in achieving communicative competence by responding appropriately to various utterances. First, what is a speech act? A speech act is an utterance that the speaker makes to achieve an intended effect. When a person expresses an apology, greeting, complaint, refusal, invitation, or compliment, he or she is engaging in a speech act. Speech act is an act of communication. When we communicate, we use language and sometimes it is not important or we disregard if the sentences we are using are complete or not. The number of words in a single utterance is unimportant as long as we conveyed our messages. According to J.L. Austin, a language philosopher and the developer of speech act theory, there are types or there are three types of acts given the right circumstances or context. And these are dictionary acts, a locutionary act and perlocutionary act. First is locutionary act. It is the actual act of uttering or saying something. This act happens with the utterances of a sound, a word, or even a phrase as a natural unit of speech. This is the exact utterances. For example, please do the dishes. While a locutionary act is the social function of what is said. In an illocutionary act, it is not just by saying something itself, but what is the intention behind that? Example, by uttering the locution, please do the dishes, the speaker requests the addressee to wash the dishes. Last type is perlocutionary act. It refers to the consequent effect of what was said. This is the response or the effect of the utterances. For example, again, please do the dishes would lead to the addressee washing the dishes. The aim of perlocutionary act is to change feelings, thoughts, or actions. Then as a response to J.L. Austin's speech act theory, John Searle, a professor from the University of California, classified elocutionary acts into five distinct categories. We have Searle's classification of speech acts. These are assertive, directive, commissive, expressive, and declaration. Let's have the first one. Assertive. This type of elocutionary act allows the speaker to express his belief about the truth of an intention. It is an utterance intended to tell you how things are in the world or a representation of reality. An assertive is a statement, description, classification, explanation, and clarification. Some examples of an assertive are boasting, suggesting, swearing, putting forward, and concluding. Example sentences are, no one makes better pancake than I do, and to sum it up, you gave us nothing but a waste of time. You also have to take note that when you assert something, you need to have confidence and you also have to consider the quality or tone of your voice. Next type is directive. It is an elocutionary act in which the speaker tries to make the receiver perform an action. It's not like assertive, that is, it is either true or false, but in directive, it is either to be followed or not. Some examples of a directive are ordering, asking, inviting, requesting, begging, and advising. Examples, please open the window, then let's meet tomorrow before dawn. Third type is commissive. This type commits the speaker to do something in the future or some future voluntary action. It reveals the intention of the speaker. Examples of this are planning, promising, betting, and vowing. Just like from now on, 
I swear that I will actively participate in our group activity. Or, I promise to stay by your side for the rest of my life. Then we have expressive. It is an elocutionary act which allows the speaker to express his or her emotional reactions. It reveals the speaker's attitudes and uh, emotions toward a particular situation. Some examples of uh, expressive are apologizing, thanking, deploring, and welcoming. Sentences that uh, says, I deeply regret that I didn't help in making our project. I'm sorry. Then I am truly grateful that you came into my life is expressive. Lastly, we have declaration. This type of elocutionary act brings a change in the external situation. A declaration is an utterance that changes the world by representing it as being so changed. Some examples of declarations are bidding, firing, baptizing, blessing, passing a sentence, and excommunicating. Example sentences are, you are fired and you are mine. These are our references. Again, thank you for listening.